This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen uh, Deluxe Class Brawn. Now Brawn is part of uh, Wave 8 of the Deluxe Class figures. And he's just great. He's an amazing, amazing figure. Um, I was not disappointed in particular uh, when I opened this, this figure. Uh, uh, as what most, uh, some of the reviews have led us to believe, you will not be disappointed with this figure. Uh, he is he's a great figure, very well designed, lots of details about him. The only downside really is the the uh, the back kibble, the wings, uh, which form the side of the car. Uh, but if you can get past that, which really doesn't bother me one bit, this is a fantastic figure. Uh, he's got uh, the pine green and some gold, which really is an allusion to his uh, G1 self. If you remember... Uh, Braun also was reincarnated as a Legends class figure in the Transformers Universe line uh, a year ago, I think. And it was pretty cool. It's a good homage to the Braun that we knew, grew up with. But uh, the upgrade into a deluxe class figure with a movie line is, is just splendid. Brilliant, brilliantly designed. And I'm, I cannot be happier um, having this figure right now. Uh, got he's got loads of articulation with him. He's got a swivel waist. He's got ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulders and hips. Uh, swivel thigh. He's got uh, double jointed uh, elbows and knees. Uh, his his feet can go up and down. And his ankle can move uh, because of transformation. Uh, he's got guns everywhere. He's got two uh, laser pistols right here, which are both removable if you want. Um, very nice, made of a uh, opaque and translucent material. Uh, he's got a shoulder cannon, which you can rest on either side of his shoulder. And he's got a Mechalive gimmick. Some of you have already forgotten the Mechalive feature on most Revenge of the Fallen figures. If you raise his arms, uh, the gears uh, inside his chest move, um, like so. I don't know if your camera can see it. Uh, there we go. So very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, this guy just—he's just—he just looks like a, a shock trooper or a stormtrooper. Looks like a bull, and even the hooves or the hoof, hoof-like uh, feet make him look like a bull. Just a raging bull, and very, uh, very true to his uh, G1 character. So very nice. Uh, so let's transform him. Transforming him is very easy. Um, first thing you want to do is straighten up his limbs. Um, you want to... It's a lot easier that way. So, so you can keep the guns on him. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. First thing you want to do is fold up the uh, shoulder cannon. Then what you want to do is fold down the head. Like so. Then what you want to do is raise the arms and join them up top. Uh, it helps if you already fold these two pieces down, like so. So just tab them in. Make sure the head is is n is notched uh, firmly down because you're not going to be able to join the uh, you're not going to be able to join these two uh, arm pieces if the head is still there in the middle. Um, okay, and these two just tab in. Okay, nicely, very nice. So it looks something like that. And then you want to do the legs. It's easier if you swivel the legs first before you do any of the transformation. Uh, let's keep the wings up. First thing you want to do, fold up the heels. Then what you want to do is fold up the, the feet and the lower leg. And then rotate bumper and then join now oh, before you join together just fold up the hood the halves of the hood first like so sorry about that okay and then you can join them together like so oops uh, okay Let's see Let's see now huh Okay. Okay. Just like that. Oh, make sure the windshield is is properly aligned and folded up. Okay. 
And then what's left is just move the wings to the side, move the gun, just tilt the gun a little bit forward. And what you want to do is fold up the rest of the legs, uh, like so, and then latch them onto the windshield. They don't tab in, they don't do anything, they just they just stay there. Okay. And then you want to fold up this uh, back part of the truck and tab it in. Same thing with the other one so and then what's left is really the the wings or the side panels of the truck and there you have what almost Braun in his sort of armored pickup I don't know if it's a Hummer SUV type of military vehicle um, it rolls very well and uh, what I like about it is that the clearance on the robot parts are not as low as, as most deluxe class figures and you can really you can freely roll on any surface like a carpeted surface or a flat surface like this one the gun can swivel up and down and that's about it he's got the uh, nest emblem on either side of the car uh, of the truck and he's got some robot parts showing here and there but uh, all in all it's a very compact very uh, very uh, uh, tight and compact uh, alt mode. And I like it. I like it a lot. This guy has a great alt mode and a great robot mode. So there you have it. Uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Brawn. Uh, I hope this video has been very helpful to a lot of you or to most of you who are still deciding on whether to get this figure or not. I highly recommend him. Cannot recommend him enough. He is an awesome figure. If you see him on retail, I strongly suggest you go ahead and pick him up. Thanks for watching.